Hi everybody, Cynthia here. Um, recently I purchased a couple of die sets from Amazon and this is one of them and it's to make this really cute to-go cup gift card holder which I thought was perfect for coffee cards. I hand out a lot of coffee cards sometimes I just um, go to Dunkin Donuts and get a $5 gift card and hand them out as thank you gifts or um, thinking of you, uh, have a cup of coffee on me kind of thing. And I thought these would be perfect for teacher appreciation. Um, like I said, as thank yous, Mother's Day, um, anybody that you know enjoys coffee or tea. I'm not a huge Starbucks fan. I like Dunkin' better, but I already use this card, so I figured it would be the best to show you. And then this is the kind of like sleeve that it comes in. But here's the thing. It took me a while to figure this one out because some of the dies that you buy on Amazon do not come with instructions. But I love that um, I popped it up on foam tape and it's super dimensional. And I just think it came out really cute. And the thing I love best about it is it fits an A2 size envelope. So you do not need to make any envelopes, you know, a different size to fit this. Um, let me just grab my foam tape here. So I forgot to grab some of that. And anyway, I thought we'd put a few together, or one together. So you could see how I did this one, and then that way, if you purchase this, you won't have as hard of a time as I did trying to figure this out. And the paper pads I used, um, I used some paper from the Garden Party, from Pebbles, and then also Argyle Paper Pad from Hampton Art. And these were both gifted to me from... <laughs> scraps and things one sorry my mind went to a blank so hi Misha thank you so much for these paper pads I am finally starting to use them and so I created this one and then I created a bunch more I'll try and share with you these two are the same this was from a different paper pad but I did some happy mother's day ones and here's some more Mother's Day and oh my gosh I love this bee paper with the honeycomb paper I thought that was so so pretty and then I did some thinking of you because these would be good for any occasion like thinking of you and then on the inside you could stamp happy birthday so it could be a gift card holder you know you could put your gift card in the front and then on the back, you can stamp your sentiments and sign it, you know, whatever you'd like to do. So I thought that might be a cute idea. Um, so thinking of you can go for a lot of different things. Or, you know, hey, just because you want to send somebody a little coffee card, maybe in your care packages for people, your happy mail, um, things like that. So here's another thinking of you one. And then I did a bunch of birthday. So I've been really busy making these and having a lot of fun with them. This stars paper I thought was perfect um, for birthday. Hopefully there's not too much of a glare with the, um, the bags, but I didn't want to take each one out. Also it gave me a chance not only to use up my paper, but I have a lot of these like pearls and gems in my stash and I just really wanted to use them up. The twine here that I used is Aunt Lydia's crochet thread and I had purchased this on clearance. You get 150 yards in this box and I got this at Joann's and the thing I love about it is there's a hole in the top so you can just pull it through which is very convenient. Sorry I just had a, like a little piece of tape there to to keep it down. Just stick that right there. So I love that part. And okay, so let's get started. So when you purchase this die, the first thing you're going to need is to cut yourself one of these. This is the actual gift card holder part. 
Let me pull out all of my pieces. Okay, so you're going to need one of these to get started. This is where you would put your gift card. And that's with this die. And then you're going to get another piece. There's two pieces that look like this. And this is to create this envelope part right here, or this pouch. So you're going to need to cut out a piece from this die and this die of your patterned paper. Now for this, you want to make sure, like I did one of these, okay, this is going to be for that, and then I did one of these. But when I put my die on it, when you go to use this, you're going to fold, it gives a little crease here, right in this area, this area, and this area to create your flaps. So you want to make sure you figure out if it's if it's double sided which pattern you want facing out and then put your die facing down on top of it when you go to cut it out. It just cuts out a little nicer I think and it makes the crease much easier to bend and fold and that's all you're going to do. So you're going to fold these pieces right here I'm going to use my bone folder to press them down and get a little bit of liquid glue. I'm going to pull this flap down and just add a little bit in this corner and this corner and then fold the bottom flap up to meet the other two flaps. And then you're going to add glue to the flaps. And then you're going to lay this piece right on top. And all I did was I kind of put it in my hand so there's a finger here and here and two fingers on the side. And that way you can feel how even you have it before you press it down. Just run the bone folder over that. Okay, so we've already created our pocket. And then you want to decide which which one you want to be the front or the back. Entirely up to you. But you're going to have a piece that looks like this. This is the actual coffee um, little sleeve holder. So you're going to want to cut one of those out. And what I did was I backed mine up on black cardstock so it would just show up a little bit nicer and give it a nice little edge to it. So we're going to do that right now. Glue it to some black cardstock and then we're just going to cut it out. I'm leaving about an eighth of an inch border of black cardstock all the way around the edges here. You don't have to do this, but I just thought it made the coffee cup sleeve pop a little bit. like that. Okay, now I'm going to pop that on, but I'm not going to put glue on the very edge of the sides. Just kind of come in a little bit with that because it's going to hang off just a little bit. Which actually you know, kind of adds 
when it hangs off the edge a little bit, it kind of makes it look more dimensional, like it's actually wrapping around the coffee cup pocket. Okay. So then you're going to be given um, a circle die like this. And I cut mine out from white cardstock. And then I stamped on it a heartfelt thanks. And then I pulled out the other circle dies that I have in my stash. Because I wanted to give it a little bit of an, a black edge. So I did a black circle die behind it. So that it would just make it pop more. So this cuts out a circle measures one and a half inches. So you'll need um, a one and a half inch black cardstock and then use the circle die that they give you from the die set to create your sentiment. And then I put some foam tape on the back of this to add dimension. And I'm going to try and center that as best I can. Flip it around. Add some liquid glue. And we're going to pop that right in the center. Okay. Now we want to create our top piece here on this section and we want to add dimension to that. So with this piece here, you're going to want to cut that out of white cardstock and it's going to look like this. And then you're going to also take this die here and you're going to cut out another white piece. This piece here is going to lay right on top of this but you're going to want to put foam tape under it to make it look dimensional. And also before you do that, there's this piece here, which I wasn't sure what this was for in the beginning. But you want to cut a piece of black cardstock from this. And before you add this top piece here, I went ahead and added it to this piece it just makes your life so much easier if you add it first and you're going to want to put that right on top just like that okay all right so we have that done we're going to take this flip it around and you'll know the difference between the back and the front because this is the back and then in the front, you're going to see this little um, kind of score line there, and that just adds a different look to it. So just adds a little detail. Let me get some foam tape. Add a piece to the bottom there. And to the top and cut that far enough so I'll just put one there and then one right here okay peel those off And then try and line it up right underneath the black piece there. So it looks like that. Okay, and then you have this part here. This is where it drinks out of. And I don't know, I must have misplaced it because I don't see it hanging out here on my desk. But you're going to want a piece of black cardstock for that. And that's this little die right here. Okay, I must have lost it. So I'm not going to go through and try and cut that right now. It might have fallen off my desk while I was 
getting the video together. <laughs> but anyway, that piece of black cardstock is going to go right in this section here. Okay. And then once you have this piece done, what I like to do is actually stick the um, gift card right in there first. And then I'm also going to add dimensional tape to the back of this. I just loved the um, 3D look of the whole thing. Oh, too big. Let's cut those in half there. There, and one there. Pull these off. And then I'll show you how I did the twine and the tag to finish it off. Basically, you want to line this up with the top section here. And it just made it easier for me if I put it in the put it in the sleeve and then add it to it. Okay, so that's it. And like I said, you're gonna need to cut out a black piece from this little this little die set here. And add, that adds the little sippy part of it. So now we're gonna add our twine. So let me pop this one back in here and pull out some twine. And what I did was I had left some hang off on the right side and then I wrapped it around. That's once, twice, and I crisscrossed it and then three times straight across. And then you can cut that piece off. Let me get this stuff out of our way. And then I stamped for you on the little tag that I made. I'm going to take these two pieces and my tweezer and I'm going to pop it through the hole in the tag. Pull it through. Now this you want to be careful with because when you go to tie your knot and bow, you don't want to rip that hole. So you want to do this gently, but you also want to make it nice and secure. And then make a bow. Okay, and then I'm going to just trim off the excess here. Okay, so I didn't want this just swinging around willy-nilly, um, especially if I'm going to send it in the mail. So I'm just going to add a little bit, I'm going to flip it around add a little bit of glue to this edge here and just kind of let it fall down naturally and hold it down and that way it just kind of secures the tag also another thing you're going to want to do is add a little bit of liquid glue to the twine here so that it doesn't move on you especially when you have the gift card um, pulled out this could easily slide up and pop off. So all I did was I turned it around and I pulled it down, just add a little liquid glue and pulled it back up and secured it. Just a little tiny line on each one. 
and that way it won't slide off your gift card envelope. Same thing here, just pull these down a little bit from where they are or up, depends on what you wanna do, and add a little bit of liquid glue. I wouldn't suggest using hot glue because you're gonna actually see the little hot glue marks and you don't want that. Just get to put a little bit underneath the twine there. Okay, that way when it dries, it's nice and secure and it won't slide off the front. And that's pretty much it, guys, besides that little part I'm missing. And here's the A2 size envelope. And I'll show you that even though we created it dimensionally and there's a gift card inside, it fits nice and snug with extra room in the A2 size envelope. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Like I said, I will link below where I purchased these. I'm not affiliated in any way, but you know, you might want to get a set for yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will be uploading new video tutorials every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So if you're not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell notification button. So every time I upload, um, you'll be notified. And to everybody that's already subscribed, thank you so much for watching my videos and for your continued support. I appreciate it so much. Happy crafting, everybody.